mattress shoppers, it's Jess here with The Sleep Judge. If you carry a lot of weight, it can be hard to find the right mattress. Now for starters, the wrong layer lineup with low density foams will develop sagging too early. Medium firmness typically isn't accommodating and very often adequate support simply isn't there, leading to back problems, tossing and turning, and aches and pains that haunt you hours after waking up. Now, if you're a heavier person, I am preaching to the choir, and today I am proudly presenting a very viable solution in the Sattva HD mattress. Now, this luxury hybrid Interspring mattress was designed specifically with your unique needs in mind, and it's engineered to offer support for sleepers ranging from 300 to 500 pounds. Now, Sattva is one of the earliest pioneers in the bed in the box industry, and you can learn more about their lineup of products in our complete written review. But for now, let's jump right in and discuss everything that you need to know before you buy. Let's go ahead and kick things off with a look inside the Sattva HD to understand how it works. It all starts off with a one and a half inch organic cotton pillow top to provide that immediate cushioning for contour and comfort. Now cotton is naturally very breathable and this is important considering the direct contact with the body. The cover is enhanced with an antimicrobial fabric treatment called Guardian, an excellent feature for you allergy sufferers out there. To keep the inside layers in place, the entire cover is hand tufted. Below the cover is the two inch comfort layer comprised of all natural Talale latex. It's responsive and buoyant and naturally resists body weight. And it's also a great choice for heavier sleepers. Latex is known for being highly durable and the top comfort layer is where most wear and tear is gonna take place. So I think this was a smart choice in terms of durability expectations. The latex layer offers five zone support. This means the firmness varies just slightly based on where you carry the most weight, working to provide targeted support for the back, hips, and the shoulders. Now, I like that the strong response of the latex prevents excessive sinkage without being overly firm. Now, the lift provided is natural and buoyant to keep you on the top of the mattress where you wanna be, not sunk down into the support zone where pressure points would be prone to develop. Now latex in layer one is also smart considering it's very breathable material. To ensure the responsive latex doesn't overwhelm deeper contouring effect, it's followed by four inches of a combination of memory foam and support foam. Now this adds pressure relief and keeps you sleeping comfortably. Now if you don't carry much weight, a lineup that starts with memory foam and then follows up with latex is often a better fit, but this layer lineup is very appropriate for those who carry a lot of weight. If you're a heavy person with a sleep partner who doesn't carry much weight, I'd suggest buying the king size Sattva HD and adding a twin XL memory foam topper to be applied to the lightweight person's side. And I will leave a link to some of our favorite toppers in the description below. Now the next six inches of the Sattva HD mattress is made up of the inner spring unit. It works well with the latex to offer a great bounce to aid in mobility and it's tempered steel coils are 25% stronger than the industry standard. The coils are also threaded with 17 gauge helical wire to reduce motion transfer. And we will put that to the test here in just a few minutes. Just like the latex in layer one, the coils are zoned for added lumbar support. And best of all, the entire inner spring unit is wrapped in a high density edge support foam that reinforces the entire surface area of the mattress. Now these foam rails encase not only the sides, but also the top and bottom of the inner spring unit. So the final layer of this mattress is comprised of two inches of this material. Now this is important to maintain the shape of the mattress and keep the inner springs in place. All layers combined result in a final product that is 15 and a half inches thick. So make sure you buy sheets large enough to accommodate. One of the biggest hindrances people over 300 pounds face in finding the right mattress is the fact that it can be in the best interest of a newer mattress company to reach a broader market base. With a growing number of companies launching their first or second products, many mattresses dominating the search results right now are gonna feature a medium firmness. Now Sattva has already covered their ground in offering products geared toward the average person, lightweight folks, and those in around the 200 to 300 pound range. Now, if you wanna learn more about these mattresses, I have now tried out Sattva's entire lineup and I'll go ahead and link out to my suggestions for other weight ranges in the description below. Now, since Sattva HD is designed with weights between 300 and 500 pounds in mind, I personally can't give a very helpful perspective in terms of the feel. Now, what I can subjectively tell you is that if you do weigh less than 300 pounds, this mattress is gonna feel very firm and you won't get a whole lot of engagement with either the memory foam or the latex layers. The bulk of the mattress consists of the coil unit and it weighs in at 12.5 gauge. 
Now this number usually ranges from 12 to 15 with the lower number representing a firmer mattress. So at 12.5, you can imagine the final product is pretty firm. Considering my limited ability to provide useful subjective feedback on this one, let's go ahead and take an objective look at how the Sattva HD measures up when we use our firmness and contour testing tool. Now, if you wanna learn the details of how this proprietary testing method works, I'll include a link below where you can learn all about it. In a nutshell though, it allows us to take a scientifically accurate snapshot of how different areas of your body will interact with the layer lineup with respect to how much the sleeper weighs and the weight that the mattress is designed to accommodate. Now keep in mind that the latex and the coils are zoned. This means they are firmer toward the center of the sleep surface to improve lumbar support, a great feature for back sleepers who do carry a lot of weight. Now we'll measure at the top, middle, and bottom of this mattress to represent how you can expect to engage with the Sattva HD mattress. Taking a look at our results, we have used weights of 50, 100, and 150 pounds. This represents various body types. Now some people, for example, may carry a lot of weight in their hips, a moderate amount of weight in the shoulders, but not a whole lot elsewhere. For them, 150 would represent the hips, 100 would represent the shoulders, and the 50 would represent the extremities. Now take it, for instance, a bodybuilder, the 150 pounds could easily apply to the shoulder area. For those with a very even weight distribution, 100 pounds could apply to the hips and the shoulders, while 50 would apply to the extremities. Now everyone's different and you should have a pretty good idea of where and how you carry your weight. Understanding this, let's take a look at the chart generated from our testing. First, I'd like to draw your attention to the two sets of results. Those on the top show the readings that we got on the top and the bottom, and the bottom set of results show the middle. You can see the lines on it are smaller and this reflects the zoning. Based on our testing, the middle of the mattress is approximately 30% firmer than the top and the bottom. This allows the extra support you need to keep your lumbar spine from sagging. Now, if you do carry a lot of your weight in your midsection and sleep on your side, you might find this added firmness to cause pressure points. However, those of you who are top heavy or carry your weight relatively evenly throughout the body, you'll enjoy the most benefit of the zoning. The blue line represents how deeply lighter weight areas of the body will sink into the mattress. The 50 pounds sunk a little less than an inch into the material, and this is still in that pillow top region. The 100 pound weight represented in red stands out. It's much longer than the other two, and we experience sinkage of about two and a half inches at this point. Here, you're sinking into that latex with an inch of space before the memory foam kicks in. When we add that extra 50 pounds, the sinkage increases by another inch. The reason the yellow line is so much shorter than the red is because in areas of the body where you weigh 150 pounds or more, you're going to be sinking into that firmer memory foam. So for a bed made with people in the 300 to 500 pound range, these results are great because you can expect the heaviest areas of your body are going to be feeling that memory foam contour and it's four inches thick. Considering 150 pounds only scratches the surface of this layer, it should be plenty thick to accommodate people up to 500 pounds. Now this particular combination of firmness and contouring capabilities are going to be best suitable for most heavy set folks who sleep primarily on their back and or stomach. If you do like to sleep on your side, best compatibility will be experienced with inverted triangle and rectangle shaped bodies. Can also be a great fit for heavy combination sleepers since that latex inner spring combo does make moving around very easy. Hot sleeping can be a huge concern, especially considering that you cannot enter the deepest level of REM sleep until you drop just slightly below the standard 98.6 degree body temperature. That's why we always take a look at the ability of a mattress to sleep cool. Now looking at the features, we have three main components at work aiding in this department. Starting at the cover, the organic cotton breathes well naturally. The latex layer is ventilated to promote airflow and so is the open coil unit. Now as a combined unit, let's take a look at how quickly the mattress is able to return to room temperature after I lied on it for a half hour. Most mattresses take right around 10 minutes and this product cooled off in right about that amount of time. Now I didn't have trouble with hot sleep on this mattress and I'd say as long as you don't have a significant issue with hot sleeping, you'll find it to be thermally compatible with quality sleep. A supportive edge can make mobility easier and help keep you from falling out of bed. At the same time, when you have an edge that's much more supportive than the rest of the sleep surface, you run into that trampoline effect. Now this is where sleepers feel as though they're being drawn into the center of the mattress, most notably when a lighter sleep partner feels like they're falling into the indent of his or her sleep partner. 
Now you can see here that I am supported incredibly well when I sit and lie on the edge. This has a lot to do with that solid inner spring unit and the high density foam reinforcement along the edges. The firm foams of the layer lineup keep you from sinking too deeply into the comfort layers, and I don't feel like I'm sagging too far into the bulk of the mattress within the borders. The overall mattress firmness and added wire support in the center third provides a very even support system that should accommodate sleep partners very well. We've looked at multiple instances where the latex coil combo is genius. It makes movement easy, transfers heat well, and provides great support. Now the main trouble lies in the fact that these great benefits often exist at the sacrifice of a degree of motion isolation. Put quite simply, latex and springs are bouncy. When I drop a 20 pound medicine ball next to another of equal weight, you can see the resting ball is visibly affected by the impact. Now, if you have a sleep partner, you will have to make a compromise. If awesome support, durability, and ease in mobility are more important to you, the Sotva HD is a prime choice. However, if you are a very light sleeper and have a sleep partner who moves around a lot, you may want to consider a product made of foam. Prior to using the HD, I had tried out four of Sotva's five mattresses. They were all donated to acquaintances of mine, some of them having been used for almost three years now, and I've had nothing but great feedback in terms of durability, and that's because Sattva uses quality materials. The fact that the HD model has an increased weight limit of 300 to 500 pounds says a lot. In fact, for all sizes except the Twin and Twin XL, it can actually support sleep partners up to 1,000 pounds, with 500 pounds being applied on each side. Now, latex is naturally very durable. Memory foam, however, is synthetic, so durability varies. We need to look at the density measurement to get an idea of how long it should last. Now, a density in this foam type at at least three pounds per cubic foot is suitable for the average durability expectation, but Sotva HD uses five PCF foam. This is top-notch stuff built to last. The steel coils are 25% stronger than the industry standard, and this goes a long way in preventing premature sagging. Overall, high quality is there at every layer of the Sotva HD mattress. So with proper use, it should easily last eight to 10 years. When you're on Sotva's website, you will be faced with the choice of five mattresses. Now I've tried them all at this point and I'll include the pros and cons of each in our complete write-up. Just Google the Sleep Judge Sotva HD review. Now this mattress is the second most expensive in the lineup, but before you let that scare you off, I think it's totally worth it if you do fall in that 300 to 500 pound range. That's because you're paying for the level of quality capable of offering that solid support that you need. Now, on the other hand, if you fall below this weight range, you're probably gonna be better off saving some money and going with another option. The only exception I can really think of off the top of my head is someone under 300 pounds who likes a really firm mattress and sleeps primarily on their back and or stomach. If you're on a tight budget and do weigh between 300 to 500 pounds, I'd encourage you to take a look at Sattva's financing option through Klarna before you compromise on quality with something cheaper. Now they offer 0% financing for qualified buyers, and I will link out to a very helpful FAQ article that Sattva provides regarding this option. Now in this heavier weight range, many mattresses just aren't gonna hold up the way they would for someone of average weight, and you can end up spending far more in the long run when you're right back to mattress shopping in just a few years. Now for those of you who ultimately do decide to buy the Sapa HD, you are gonna get 120 nights to try it out. If you do decide that it's not gonna be for you, all you gotta pay is $99 for transportation fees to cover the mattress pickup, but you will be completely refunded on the purchase price. Now, if you do like it, you're covered for 20 years with a non-prorated warranty that covers defects in workmanship and materials. Now, when dealing with high-grade materials like latex, mattresses can become pretty heavy and unwieldy, and that's why I like that Sattva does offer free white glove delivery. Now, it includes in-home setup and the removal of your old mattress. Now, for a heavier person, the support offered combined with the zoning offers a great sleep surface for someone who likes a more responsive mattress. For those looking for that memory foam contouring feel, I'll leave a link in the description below that details some of our top picks for heavier weight ranges. You can also consider adding a memory foam topper to your purchase. These products usually range anywhere from one to four inches and offer that little extra hug before the same strong Sattva HD support kicks in. And as always, we also encourage you to swing by the sleepjudge.com to learn even more about this product before you buy. Best of all, we include a purchasing link in our review that knocks 75 bucks off the total price, so definitely don't miss out on that. Until our next review though, remember that the right mattress can make even the worst days better.